everybody! Welcome to my channel! We are doing something a little different today, keeping it just casual. Today I'm doing something really exciting. I received this thing that I purchased, and that thing is Lit. What is Lit, you might ask? Lit is a glow-in-the-dark pigment um, that you can mix with acrylic base, you can mix it with um, an oil base, uh, you can probably use it as watercolor, I don't know, you can do a whole lot of stuff with it. The videos that I had seen um, promoting it looked really cool and I wanted to try it out. So I just ordered one and today I am using it for the first time. Um, I did do a couple swatches of it the other day, you might have seen them on my Instagram if you follow me. If you want to purchase it, I will include the information in the thingy mabob. Uh, so you can get some yourself and start making some really cool glowing stuff. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get right into the painting. I've got my palette set up. These are the colors I'm using. I've got black, whoa, I've got black, white, a little bit of my glow that's left, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, uh, cobalt blue hue, so this one, uh, Windsor blue, viridian, sap green. So I just wanted to focus on doing a variety of blues and greens and then have a little bit of red in case I need it and then do uh, quite a bit of gray and like blue grays. And then obviously the bright yellow of the lit, I'm going to also use cadmium yellow um, as like a base. I have my reference photos pulled up on my laptop, which is just like right here beside my paint. Um, I have a canvas that I've just primed with some acrylic paint. Alright, so basically what I'm doing here is laying in a basic sketch of the painting that I want to do beforehand. I'm just using the paint a little bit more thinned down. Uh, and then from there, kind of doing an underpainting, I'm painting darkest tones to lightest tones last. And I'm painting with the thinnest paint first and building my way up to thicker paint. I'm laying in the colors where I want them and thinking about where the lighting is coming in and how that affects the colors. So how things are going to be a little bit lighter towards the top and darker as they go down to the bottom. And also thinking about the form of the shark and the way the light is going to be hitting it. And keeping in mind as well the parts that I'm going to want to be glowing. So kind of those brightest greens are going to be where I'm going to be placing the glow so kind of thinking about that and thinking about the way that it will reflect off of the shark. Now I'm going to mix my lit with some liquid. I just held this up to the light for a minute so you can see how the top layer is like all glowy and the bottom isn't. Anyways, I think that's pretty cool. Basically what I want to try is doing our sheer layers first and then maybe building up to a more opaque coverage. I don't know, I might have to let it dry to be able to do that. I don't know, we'll see. So what I want to do on the painting is have the kelp that the shark is swim swimming through be kind of luminescent, so definitely on the brightest parts um, of the kelp here, and then maybe like a little bit on the underside of the shark, like where the light is reflecting, or like maybe a little bit up here. Because I'm thinking like our light source is up here because like the sun is coming down through the water. So that's why it's a little bit lighter up here and it goes kind of into darkness where more of the more of the kelp is growing. The luminescent parts are going to be kind of on the edges of the kelp. Let's give this a try. I'm not really sure how much is going to stay since I am painting over wet oil paint. I'm not really sure how this will work. I think it would work really nice if you wanted to do layers over... Um, a dry oil painting as well. And I'm kind of washing off my brush just on this paper towel in between so I'm not getting too much paint transfer. So with the way that I have this set up right now, um, I have my lamp right here so I can just move it down and get it the light really soaked up on there. I'm just gonna leave this um, maybe for a couple minutes. I'll like read my email or something, check Instagram, and uh, we'll come back here and see if it's glowing. Keep in mind, I have all my other lights on in my room. All right. Not seeing a big payoff here. I'm curious to see 
if it'll look any different in the dark. All right, so now we're in the dark. There's a little bit on there. Yeah, it's glowing a little bit. I think it's gonna need probably a couple coats. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is add more pigment in. Um, I'm thinking maybe if I have a little bit thicker of a mixture that it will be a little bit brighter. I didn't mix a lot of it in the first time, so that could be part of my problem. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of my medium on here and mix in a bunch more powder. So let's see how much pigment that this can take. I'm gonna put that much. Alright, I just held that up to the light for a minute. And you can see it's it's glowing all right. I'm just gonna keep adding more. I'm just gonna mix as much in here as I can. Yeah. Cover those areas again with um, my more concentrated mixture. I'm gonna put our light over it, and we're gonna we're gonna try it again. All right. It's been a couple minutes. Let's move the light. Oh wow. Okay, I don't know how much you can tell, but it is glowing more now. If I tip it like this out of the light, you can see it. Let's bring it into the dark. So right now we're just standing in my hallway, and you can see the glow effect on there. Alright, the last thing I'm trying is I just did a whole bunch of it, and now it's more like a cream, kind of like a paste. So I'm going to just try a couple little flecks on here, see how much they stick out, and see what that does. Oh wow, okay. The ones that I did with like a lot of pigment in it are really glowing. Like, can you see that? It is really glowing. This is with light on it. And that's what you get when you move it off. And if I turn off these lights, dang. So that was my review demo of using Lit. Overall, I really really like it. I'm really surprised. I can't believe what this does. It's such a cool effect and I think there's so many possibilities um, to use this and so many different mediums you could use with this. Um, I think I would really like to try it again and maybe do a watercolor or like a mixed media next time. I wanted to use oil today because I just was really feeling it. I just haven't done an oil painting in a while and I really like doing them. I will leave the information for you to purchase Lit in the description. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because if you're not, you're missing out on like everything that I do because I hardly ever post here. I'm trying to get better at that. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. If you would gently tap the like button if you like this video, you can just go ahead and gently, gently tap the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this or you just want to see more of me and my artwork and my face. You can click and watch another video if you want or you can just go away. I don't, I don't care. Do whatever you do. You do you. You do you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I like to live on the edge.